Hey, sorry for the interruption, but we wanted to let you know that this week's episode is brought to you by Spotify for Podcasters. Really cool app. Josiah and I use it for every single show that we bring to you every week. You can edit podcasts right from your phone or computer so you can start creating as soon as you log into the platform. You can easily distribute your podcasts to Spotify and everywhere else the podcasts are heard, just like we do every single week. You can also create video podcasts on Spotify, which is really cool. And of course, you can earn money like I'm doing right now by including ads and even podcast subscriptions. And best of all, it's totally free. There's no catch. We really love it. We use it every single week. So we encourage you to go download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to www.spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. All right, let's get back to the show. Welcome to this week's episode of the Print On Demand cast. Each week, join Travis and Josiah as they provide insight into the print-on-demand industry and equip you with the tools, advice, and strategy you need to achieve success and hopefully have a few laughs along the way. Now, on to this week's show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Print-on-Demand cast live intro we're doing. As you can see, we're not separated by boxes. We are... I can actually touch you. Whoa. Whoa. We did one episode together in person. wasn't live. I, did people like that episode? We'll never know. Okay. Well, we're together again in a live format. So post editing might not happen. There's no yeah. net. We're live here. <laughs> um, but Travis, what what's the plan? Yeah. So uh, the plan is that here in uh, what time is it? Um, I think in about 15 minutes, we're actually going to go live in an event we created called Podcast Live. Live. Yes. Um, and the in the Facebook group. And so if you're not a part of the Facebook group, you probably didn't see the invite. Uh, so you probably want to go to printondemandcast.com slash Facebook and join it. So next yep. time we do this, you're part of it. And you can ask questions. We want to hear from you guys. We want to get your questions, um, see what you have to say and interact We've been building this group for a while, and mm-hmm. so we figured it's time to interact on yeah. another level. Other than just text based, we can you can see us. We can take your questions. Take it out so. for a test spin. Take yes. the group out for a t- you yes. know what I mean. This is beta. This is beta. We're not just kicking the tires on this thing. We're going to get this day, thing on the yeah. open road. Yeah. One day when we have a conference, this will be actually on a stage with couches, like a like a late show. Mm. The POD Cast Live Late Show Edition. Would be, I think it'd be, it'd be fun. Re- we need to remember that. Be That's fire. a good idea. Put that, write that down. There's some sticky notes right there. So, yeah, guys, please be sure to join us. We're really excited to, like Travis said, take this out for a test drive and see what happens. So we'll see you very shortly uh, live on the Facebook group. Again, printondemandcast.com slash Facebook is how you go and you join. So we'll see you guys very soon. Mm. Getting some water. But, hey, we're here now. Uh, <laughs> there's no net. And yeah. what a great way to prove that there's no net other than my mother-in-law doing a quick run in at the beginning. And forgetting to actually, and like... forgetting to put, put a sign on sign. the door. Yeah. And you can you guys can tell that your local podcast professionals are ready for their first live right. experience. Uh, welcome to uh, Print On Demand Cast Live. We're here in my office. Last time we went to Travis's location when we did a... Uh, in-person episode, mm-hmm. and now we're here in my neck of the woods doing an in-person episode. So, Travis, how's it going, man? It's always different to be not separated by a virtual screen. Yeah, it's like we can actually. It's like we can. There's no oh. lag. There's no lag now. <laughs> the lag problem has yeah. been fixed. It's it's that there's no lag problem. There's just all kinds of other problems. Sure. We do yeah. say we're podcasting professionals. We've never said we're Facebook Live professionals. No. Which is probably coming across. But the perhaps. only way you become a professional is to try, try again. Mm-hmm. Uh, listen, if you're joining us on the live, please drop a comment. Yeah, uh, let us know here. that you're here. Uh, we would love to hear from you. And then later on, we'll be asking some questions or asking some questions. We'll be taking your questions, rather. So if you have questions now, drop them in there. Like, 
why do you guys put us through a live experience of this episode, not the post edited? We don't have that answer, but um, <laughs> but no, seriously, it's great to be here. And we want to talk about uh, last last week or the last couple episodes ago. Mm-hmm. We shouted out someone for making a uh, leaving a review yeah. for us, five star, uh, a no less. five star review, which is super, always super encouraging to see because that's what we want. And this one is no different. Uh, Grant C nineteen eighty five left us a review. Dad jokes and business insight equals a great podcast. I think it's true. I think we have think we have true. a formula of success here. Not only do Travis and Josiah deliver some top-notch dad jokes, but the information they have to share is second to none. These guys have a wealth of knowledge gleaned from their own collective in-the-trenches experience in the print-on-demand industry. I'm excited to see where they take this podcast in the future. Future? <laughs> future definitely worth your time to listen and take down some notes. So thank you so much, Grant1985, for leaving us that five-star review. Yeah. Thanks, man. That's that's uh, means a lot. You know, we've got, I think we've got six five-star, like, well, we have 20 five-star reviews, or yeah. 20 reviews, and then five of them, or six of them, I've actually taken the time to write them out. So appreciate nice. that. Nice. Um, and, you know, we always talk about just how we appreciate you guys, you know, tuning in and... Um, to our obviously to our podcast, but in this case to our lives, yeah. um, interacting with us on the um, you know the Facebook page, yeah. it's it's great. We really appreciate that. And then uh, you know every once in a while if you go above and beyond, and you know you post a review on iTunes or yeah. you know what other the, whatever podcast platform you listen on. I don't even know who else does reviews. I don't know. I don't know. I think I think literally it's just Apple right now, to my knowledge, <laughs> but. Um, you know, we want to do stuff in the future, like leave a review, and you can get some free swag when we mm-hmm. open that store. Travis is uh, um, has enough foresight to be rocking some POD cast merch. Right. I'm wearing an Avs shirt because I have to hope to God that they beat the Las Vegas game tonight. five tonight. Game five. I want to say what's up to AJ Cruz. He is here on the live video with us, and of course. Mike Perillo uh, Uncle is Mike. literally here in Colorado, not here, here, like in the same space, <laughs> but he is here in Colorado um, in some hotel room, he says. So <laughs> this is exciting stuff, man. Before we get to the question and answer portion, yep. which uh, Mike has asked a question, so we're going to shelf that for when we get there. AJ, if you have any questions, let us know, man, uh, mm-hmm. and we will let, we will get to them uh, here shortly. Someone actually reached out to us in the Facebook group and said, hey, it'd be really cool if you guys did a point of interest mm-hmm. on conferences, conventions, shows yeah, right. um, that are in the area, that are in the industry, uh, and which ones would be helpful. So we have uh, accumulated a, a short list of some of the episodes, episodes, some of the trade shows that uh, we actually we've recommend attended. and some that we've actually been to. So, um, Travis... All right. Let the people know. So um, we have talked about this, uh, talked about on the podcast that we kind of our first foray into trade shows was the NBM show. Yeah, and we went to one in Portland, yep. and we've since been to a few of those shows. But the one in Portland, we were like we drinking were from a fire new. hose. Yeah, we were like yeah. we were like. Uh, uh, minnows drinking from a fire hose. It, it, <laughs> it was a new pond, <laughs> it was. and uh, we were inundated with the current of information. It was hard to to swim in that mm-hmm. pond for sure. So, but yeah. uh, NBM has, as far as the name NBM, has kind of gone the way of the dinosaur and has become Graphics Pro Expo. So, Travis, tell yeah. tell people if they're interested in that, yeah. the locations that they will be in the next year. Sure, you can go to, um, and I'm reading off my monitor here. You can go to graphics pro expocom and get all this information. Um, but actually, next week in in uh, Indianapolis, the June 15th through the 17th is yeah. their first in person. Um, so, so this used to be the NBN show. Now it's the Graphics Pro Expo. Right. Um, but, and they basically do the same cities. They basically rotate. Yeah. So one year they'll do a certain, like a set of six cities. And then the following year they'll do another six cities. In fact, yeah. it was here in Denver. I guess it was two years ago, um, you know, pre COVID, but so they, they do Indianapolis and then, um, in July and they're in Meadowlands in New Jersey, Long Beach in August, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in September and Charlotte, North Carolina in October. And again, uh, uh, October, again, if you go to graphics pro dash expo.com, you can see all these towns yeah. or these cities that they're actually going to be in. Cool thing about NBM or, you know, graphics pro expo sure. is they have, and I think all of them actually do, they have this whole education line. And for us in yeah. Portland, it was, that was, it was because really we important. went to initially just learn more about sublimation mm-hmm. and mugs. 
And then we sat in on a, a class. I can't remember the name of this company. I was just talking about them today. They have kind of like the vinyl transfers that they print for you and send to you. Oh, okay. Well, Stalls does that. Stahl, I, I There's another remember. company. Yeah, that, they, had, they had a whole class about about that, which was fascinating to learn, which kind of started the whole um, trail of like, well, there's a lot more in this industry that we can do. But the education classes were fantastic. Yeah, especially for a beginner. Yeah. You yeah. know, if, if, if you're looking, if you're close to any of those locations or willing to make the trip to any of those locations that Travis just listed, and you're a beginner, you just mm-hmm. got into the industry, uh, these education classes that you get when you sign up and when you register are super, super valuable because the information there, yeah. um, it could take you... Uh, you can learn in a weekend what it could take you a, a year or six months yeah. to learn through pouring trial through and error. Facebook and right. pouring through YouTube videos and all that. And the cool thing is, it's all one hundred percent free as long as you're a business. Yeah. I think you just have to register as a business, yep. and you can you know head in there. I don't even know if you have to be a business. I don't recall. I don't recall signing up. Yeah, I, I was individually, but I mean, yeah. Well, I, if you don't have a business, go ahead and check it out and see if you can get in yeah. and uh, let us know. RJ Martinez is here on the Facebook Live. What's RJ, up, RJ? We owe you a joint YouTube uh, we do. session. Uh, we, we talked about that a couple months ago, but hey, uh, DM either one of us and we'll get that on your channel because it's always good talking with you, RJ. Thank you so much for dropping by, man. Uh, the next uh, expo or the next I don't know, trade print, show, trade, trade show, trade print show, show um, yeah. that we have is printed Printing United, which mm. is one big show it's a big show in orlando florida that's taking place october 6th through the 8th uh, of 2021 so there's still time to register still, still time to get the travel lined out if you're looking to go there travis tell them a little bit about printing united yeah so printing united used to be the sgia show yeah and um that was man that we went to that was in well, vegas yeah, a couple yeah. years ago that when yeah. we went to that it was a huge show. They yeah. have a lot of large <laughs> format stuff. So, like, imagine your garage and one piece of equipment being in the entire thing. Yeah. <laughs> and there's, like, multiple machines like yeah. that in this. So there was a, a basically a room that was basically a 3D printer. Yeah. I mean, it was massive, yep. you know, a huge, huge room. And they were printing, like, life-size things in this yeah. in this printer. Um, yeah, so large form, but they also have, you know, all of the other kind of usual suspects yep. when you come to these shows, yep. the DTG, the laser, the UV, um, all of those types of things. But yeah. um, it, there's just a lot of really cool things you can like get ideas for and just and learn about just by networking at these events. Yeah. And, and if you're close to the Orlando area, man, this is a great show to go. Again, I, I, as far as I as far as I know, it might be like ninety nine dollars. I can't remember. We I should have pressed register um, just to check. But go to printingunited dot com and you can kind of test test that and and just do attendee registration. And I'm, I'm actually clicking yeah, as it I live. do it. This is live. This is live. This we're is we're live. Facebook. This live, isn't everybody. going out in the post edit. At That's all. right. Um, <laughs> and I still can't tell you. So I guess it'll have to still remain a mystery. Um, but yeah, so you can sign up there, uh, and I, I, it might be ninety nine bucks. It yeah. might be free. Yeah, uh, but it's worth it just to get around all that stuff. Sure. Yeah, SGIA was was mind blowing. It was like the, I, I guess the granddaddy of them all because I'd heard so much about it being like the print show like yeah. that was where you go right. and if you've ever been to las vegas and into their like um the the event center or the exhibition area yeah. or whatever yeah. that they have there it is massive, it's massive. and <laughs> every room is just filled i mean they had a humongous cnc wood cutter there that i remember seeing yeah. just outrageous making stuff. crazy noise in the corner yeah. of the expo yeah. hall <laughs> yeah yeah exactly um so it was a great show to go to and we had a lot of fun and learned a lot there mm-hmm. as well and the networking was great too we met a lot uh, i think is that when we met our friends in utah um, yeah, yeah, our friend, we, yeah. Apex we, Clothing. Apex Clothing. We met them. Shout out to them. Mm-hmm. Uh, if they're in this group, maybe we'll tag them. Um, but listen, we, we met them just kind of off the cuff at a networking event yeah. for Ryonet. For Ryonet, and yeah, we were going which is down a screen to Fremont, company. Yeah, we we're going to, down to Fremont Street, and uh, we were uh, at a, a kind of a social event for them, and we ended up discovering that we were staying in the exact same Airbnb, <laughs> just a floor above or below one another, which was crazy. So yeah. I, I think one of the things for me that I love the most 
about these shows is the networking yeah. and the connections you make because someone could be providing a service that you don't have or that you're wanting to provide to your clients and that's where you make that connection. So the networking is invaluable at these places and, and so get in the halls, talk to each other uh, yeah. when you go and, and, and meet someone new. Uh, real quick in the comment section, AJ Crew says, I've had really good results from 6130 Originals. 6, 613 Originals. 613 yep. Originals. That's the one, I think, yes. one of the ones you were yep. talking yep. about. Yeah. Yep. Got to use them. Got to use the silk screen transfers until I can get a DTG, and then he shouts out RJ, which is awesome. <laughs> I love seeing the interaction uh, inside the chat itself with you guys. Uh, yep. Mike says, I agree. The Graphics Pro Expo, formerly NBM, is a great place for beginners. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had a similar experience as a beginner, and it helped a lot to learn yep. about branching out. Uh, and RJ says, yes, we do owe him. Speaking, I want to get you guys on another so we can have a good conversation. So, yes, RJ will do that. Speaking of Mike, <laughs> uh, the next show is actually where I yeah, first met true. Mike. Yeah, it's true. Um, so uh, the Ex- Impressions Expo, or the ISS show, as people call it, uh, is a, it, it goes in it's three different cities. It's Atlantic City, Fort Worth, and Long Beach. Usually Long Beach is in January, but because of COVID and everything, they didn't have it this year. Right. They're going to have it next year, and we'll talk about that. Um, Atlantic City is in August, uh, the end of Atlantic City. Um, again, you can just go to impressions impressionsexpo.com uh, to see these cities. And then in Fort Worth, uh, it's in September. And then next year, in January, January 21st through the 23rd at the Long Beach Convention Center. Um, that's, that's actually the place I met Mike and we, yeah. you know, we walked the floor. It's a big show. It's, it's similar to, I, uh, to, SGIA to the SGIA or, the, yeah, Printing, or United. Uh, Printing United. Yeah. Um, maybe not quite as large, but it has a lot of the same things. The other thing about the ISS Long Beach show is a lot of companies, because it's, it's in a major market. It's in California. Um, it's on the coast where a lot of, um, you know, a lot of imports sure. happen and things. A lot of companies will use that as a place to like, b- like share their brand new printer. Like for instance, the F thirty seventy that we talked about on the show, the Epson um, that debuted at the ISS Long Beach show uh, a couple years ago. So um, all that to say, what do you guys think? Yeah. About maybe hanging out in Long Beach uh, this coming January. With your favorite podcasting professionals. Or that. That. Podcasting (laughs) professionals. Uh, I flipped it on him. You did. We thought we were going to have a nice in sync (laughs) moment. Uh, But no, but seriously, what would you guys think? Uh, We were talking about it um, a couple weeks ago, and the idea of Long Beach came up, Mm -hmm. and the idea of like, well, what if we kind of threw out a line and had the idea of having some kind of like official, unofficial POD cast group meetup for those that are in attendance? So if that interests you, uh, as an added bonus to the value that you'll get from the actual trade show itself, <laughs> uh, hanging out with us and chatting with us, maybe we even fire up something to record a live episode on site. Uncle and Mike just, will come too. Uncle Mike will have he, to come. He actually just said, I'm definitely I'm hitting definitely, up the ISS well, Long Beach show next year. He said that because he knows we're going. Yeah. So I'm going to I'm gonna say. He's tagging along. Uh, yeah, no, he says it'll be a dope for a live event there at mm-hmm. ISS Long Beach. So uh, if you guys are interested, if you're interested in that, if that kind of uh, gets the, the mind percolating, let us know because um, we would love to kind of facilitate something like that. I'm th- I think we're probably going to go either way, but it would be great to have some of you guys there and, uh, and meet you guys in person because yeah. we interact with you guys so much in the group. And you hear us every week. We want to hear your story uh, there live at ISS. So yep. it would be a lot of fun. And Mike says, in all caps, drinks and appetizers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, all of the above. All of it. Yeah. All, all of the above. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that I think I guess that would qualify as the, the point of interest for this episode. Yeah. Uh, if we had a really cool different. bumper, we'd play it right here. Bum, 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 bum. Point of interest. Bum, 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 Point of interest. Yeah, I like it. Just that's it. It's good. Boom. Mm-hmm. Scat. Uh, so, uh, Mike said uh, earlier he had a question for us because we said if you have questions. So, if you guys watching have a question, drop it in the comments yep. and let us know because we will be here for a little bit longer with you guys. Mike says, so, what new things are you guys both up to? Travis, what new things are you up to? I think Mike's leading us with that question because Mike, as you guys, as we told you earlier, is actually in... Cal- or Colorado right yeah. now at a hotel and was actually in my shop today. Um, one of the cool things that Mike is doing, and I'm letting the cat out of the bag a little bit because it's not totally 
totally finished yet, but um, Mike is putting together a service for people who sell or who want to sell print on demand or who already do um, to basically create full f- spreadsheet files for mm-hmm. you with mockups and uh, all of the titles and all of the descriptions and all of the keywords and everything. So you can literally take these, upload them to your Amazon account or upload them to your Shopify wow. or upload to your eBay. Um, and uh, he's putting that together. It's, he's, he's calling it Pod Instant. So it's, it's podinstant.com. He does have a page up there with some FAQs if you want to check that out. Nothing is, you know, uh, live yet. You can't purchase anything, um, you know, quite yet. But uh, the cool thing is, and the reason we're really focusing, you know, kind of working together is um, he, we're going to we're going to be fulfilling those orders. Now, sure. you, can, you can, of course, buy these, you know, these bulk 2,000, 3,000, 10,000 listings and have somebody else fulfill them if you right. want. Um, but kind of out of the box, if you will, uh, they're going to be coming through Make Your Mark Design. So that we've re- we were actually not two hours ago whiteboarding <laughs> in my office. Um, we finally scribbled all that other oh, stuff off. So there'll yeah. be new stuff on the next episode. <laughs> we right. can all kind of decipher what his whiteboard says. <laughs> uh, if you watch the YouTube version of of this show, you know that Travis always has plans to take over the POD world. That's right. Right behind him, yeah. and there's no discretion. He just you, lays it all out you for you guys. Zoom so right in and just if understand. You've got, if you've got that technology, like the uh, CSI episodes, and they just zoom in on the really <laughs> <laughs> the surveillance footage. Yeah. Uh, no, that's awesome. I think that's well, a fantastic yeah, idea. It's going to be super awesome. I'm, yeah. I'm very looking. You know, I'm looking forward to it a ton. Um, hoping to, you know, allow people to kind of come in and that are just not necessarily selling a lot of POD or sure. maybe they're just starting, but they already have like an Amazon account or they yeah. have an eBay account. And this basically allows you to just immediately be in the game Yeah, and, you know, come Christmas, you're going to get sales. And I yeah. mean, it's, it's, so it's, it's a, a game changer. It's a, it's a game changer for, sure. for a lot of people. So what, what about you guys? Exciting. Well, what's going on with what's new? We for you guys? had a conversation today where we have decided that we're at the point volume wise where, it's time to start a second shift of production. Wow. Um, we have a client that has, in the last month, um, he's a social media influencer, posted a video, and he just went bonkers. He was wearing a shirt in the video, and that's all it took. And so for the last three weeks or so, four weeks, um, he's been just churning out so much volume. I mean, over the weekend, in a day, he sold 31 pages of orders. <laughs> and so you come in Monday and you're like, good God, there's just no way to catch up from what's happening. Mm. And with with Madeline's Etsy store picking up volume as well and our other Etsy clients starting to finally kind of beat that weird Etsy funk. I don't know, for a while there, Etsy was kind of slow for, mm. for a lot of the, the people we were working with. But all of that combined was like, I think we're at the point now where we have to bring on a second shift for production to keep That's up awesome. with what's happening um, and to allow us to not have to be in production. Because um, I guess the safe play, as it would be, would be to just say either Jason or I kind of hop in right. on production. Mm-hmm. But the smart play is to keep us out of that so we can keep bringing yeah. in more volume like that to justify that second shift. To, to sustain itself. So um, it's super exciting, and we're looking at getting some different um, equipments. We're looking at doing different, like, sublimat- sublimatable hat patches now and, yeah. and kind of trying to branch out, seeing what we can do uh, headwear-wise that's not embroidery because embroidery almost made me a full-fledged alcoholic, and I'm sure Travis <laughs> can attest to that. I'm working on it. Cheers. So... Um, we won't both drink at the same time. That is unprofessional. Mm. So uh, no, I think that's I think that's awesome. <laughs> it looks like also Mike dropped podinstant.com should be running soon. Uh, yeah. So a little link there if you have uh, any questions of the FAQs, you can go there. AJ Cruz says a great way to kick off 2022 would be ISS. Yeah. Right offs, right offs, exclamation point. Heck yeah! I couldn't agree more, AJ. So first round's on you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, no, but that, that that would be great. So um, I think that's super exciting. If you guys have any more questions, please let us know. Otherwise, we will just keep talking about. I'm I'm interested. I I see your you've got you guys. So for a long time, mm-hmm. uh, you, you had gotten uh, an embroidery machine, and now yeah. I see you have a hat press over there, and we I've do. heard you guys are doing like sublimatable hats, which yeah. a lot yeah. of people don't realize that that's a thing. So oh, sure. Can you yeah. tell us like what, 
what you have to do to kind of do that? Like yeah, what absolutely. kind of materials you need and all that stuff? Yeah, so you have to get a hat press, which we have one. I'm not even quite certain on what the brand is on that one over there, if that's a Hotronics. It's, no, it's a, uh, it's a heat press nation, I think. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah I remember we got it from you. So we, that same client we told you about wanted to offer trucker hats. And for those of you that don't know, you see the trucker hats that are kind of like this, but it's the white and the black mesh uh, instead. If that white part that white foam is polyester then you can sublimate it you can you can sublimate anything on it in some in some cases you can do even kind of all over which is a whole different ball of wax but um it was kind of a necessity because our client wanted it and so you just need a hat like a trucker hat with a foam uh, polyester panel and then if you have a a sawgrass printer we're Mm -hmm. using the same sawgrass printer we're using that we use for mugs we just put some eight and a half by eleven um, you know, paper in there instead of the, the long paper for the mug and uh, print the designs. We've also discovered when you're doing the hats for a while, when I would do masks too, when you cut the design, when you kind of weed the, the, the extra space out mm-hmm. and you press it, you get kind of hard lines. You can get a line, yeah. Mm-hmm. If you just hand tear that, those completely disappear. Oh, nice. Okay. I did not know that. I didn't uh, know that until now either. Until I just... I was actually going to ask you the, I think the the question that's on everybody's mind. Yeah. How many hats did you burn in the process of learning or ruin in the process of learning how to do this? Yeah. I don't, I don't know that number, uh, because it came on board while I was in Wyoming for those two weeks. Okay. So I missed the, the, um, the research and development phase is what we call it. Fancy, the the fancy kind of way of saying we burned a shit ton of hats. (laughs) Uh, but I don't, I don't know whether he did or didn't. Uh, but from what I understand, he did. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. From what I understand, they're super easy to run. My nephew, who's been here for the last week and a half, cool. all the hat orders we've had, we taught him how to run it. And, yeah. I mean, it's a pretty seamless seamless and easy process. Yeah, once you get it, it's, yeah. it's not – I mean, yeah. yeah, once you get any of these print yeah, processes, yeah. it's fine. It's just it's that getting initial, to that place. Yeah, and being <sighs> okay. I, I, like we had – we brought on wine tumblers, sublimatable wine tumblers for a while. And hmm. that was the bane of Jason's existence for a very long time because he burned through so many hmm. trying yeah. to get it just right because they have that taper as well and the time and the process. I mean, it was a bear for him to figure out. And yeah. I just said, you just got to chalk it up to research and development, man. That's basically yep. what that department does is just breaks stuff and <laughs> figures out how to not break it anymore. That's kind of how how that goes. So, yeah, we've, we've been doing that and uh, got some some boxes that we have now found to that, that fit them really well um, mm-hmm. to ship them safely because um, some samples got sent to our client in a poly bag and it just it showed yeah, up destroyed. <laughs> it did not work. That was over. That was uh, not good. What size boxes are you? Or is it those gift boxes I see yeah, over there? So do you remember? Do you, here's here's a little peek behind oh, the curtain. Do you I remember do, the hot sauce kits? I do remember the hot sauce yeah, kits. Yeah, so when Travis and I were doing uh, Amazon stuff primarily, we had private labeled some hot sauce kits because the individual in- ingredients are pretty cheap to source. Mm-hmm. The peppers, the the powders, the whatever. So we were actually, it was like Paulo's something hot. I don't even remember now. Mm. Um, so Paulo Picante, whatever. We got stickers made and we sold yeah, we had a, hot sauce we had kits on We had a Carolina Amazon. Reaper in yeah, there. Yeah, it was one Carolina Reaper in yeah. there. Uh, that we had a of, book that we printed out. Yeah, you know, with the recipes, and then recipes you could write your own recipe. It was and, a really great kit. Yeah. Uh, glass bottles mm-hmm. in there that only broke sometimes. Yeah, only sometimes. Yeah, but, yeah, so, so that's nice. the, the So those, those are the, the leftover stock of the boxes <laughs> that we're using. Okay. Cool. Uh, so, yeah, they fit well, and you right. can they, they protect them just fine. So it's going really, really well. It looks like, uh, let's see, look at the comment section. Mike says research and destroy, which is... Yeah. Probably a better app name. Uh, let's see. AJ. Oh, AJ's saying he's, he he used the hand tearing technique and it he still gets those lines. I wonder. Really? I wonder if that's just. Do you I, tape it? Do you tape? Because if you tape, if you use a sublimation tape, you're still going to get those lines. Hmm. Um, for the hats, we've figured out a way to kind of just place it. Or if you get the adhesive spray mm-hmm. that they talk uh, on some of the supply websites. Um, you can just place it and then clamp it down because the tape will result in those same hard lines if you're using the sub tape. I've also heard that some people will buy that um, sublimatable kind of foam mm-hmm. and cut out where you want the design to like land. Sure. And then the edges, I mean, you still press it and you still have the pressure. Um, but because of that foam, it compresses. And so you still, like I say, you still get the pressure, but because it's, there's nothing there to have that line. So right. AJ you might try that. I don't know that. Um, I know JDS sells those, uh, mm-hmm. 
it's like a silicone pillow type material. I can't right. remember if it's silicone or what it's right. made out of. Yeah, he says uh, no tape. I just used spray from Ditrans. Yeah, hmm. must be user error. I don't know, man. It's it's weird. Each yeah. I feel like each each sublimatable each product in general, shirt or whatever it is, always has its own idiosyncrasies that the other one didn't have. Yeah. So it's it can get really frustrating when. When certain things work for a T-shirt, but then you go do a tank top, and it's like, what the hell, man? Yeah. It should be the same thing. It's freaking cotton. Yeah, why doesn't <laughs> it work? It's so frustrating. Yeah. Uh, Christopher Grant. Hey, what's up, Christopher? He's here in the chat. He says, in your guys' experience, what sells best on the different platforms? Mm. I think that really comes down to your listings. Um, I think... I mean, there's so many variables. You couldn't really... I don't think you could say, this sells better... Um, you know, across the board on one platform. I know your wife has had incredible success with kind of home decor type items on Etsy, Mm -hmm. um, where I don't think those sell quite as well on Amazon. Yeah, no, they don't. Um, So, so that's maybe kind of a direction or, you know, a a generic answer to that question. I've had a lot of success with, um, with coffee mugs Mm -hmm. um, and t-shirts on On Amazon. Amazon, Walmart. yeah, and a Walmart, I'll tell you what, man, coffee mugs. I, I was actually just talking to Mike about this today, and I am seeing right now, I am seeing just as many coffee mugs on Walmart as I am on Amazon, mm. um, fulfilled by merchant. Now, that doesn't account for my FBA products in Amazon, so technically I'm still you know making more sales on Amazon.com. Sure. But just merchant fulfilled, I'm seeing like Walmart, I think it's it kind of seems like for Walmart, at least for us, Around gift giving holidays, a lot of people buy on Walmart. I mean, they always yeah. buy more in general, but then after that, Amazon may level off a little bit, but Walmart kind of decreases a lot more. So sure. um, I think really, if your listings are good, you can pretty much sell anything on any channel. I don't know. What do, yeah. you, what do you think about that? Yeah, I think that's. I think you're accurate because we have had a lot of success with the home decor on Etsy, but that's also kind of the vibe of Etsy, I think. Mm. Handmade, handcrafted, custom. So DTG on all of those home decor products lends itself really, really well to that. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think it's about the, the quality of your listings. I think, But similarly, we've had success on Walmart and Amazon with T-shirts and mugs. Yeah. We yeah. do sell some pillows on Walmart. Hmm. I will say that Amazon as well. Pillows move yeah. quite a bit. Um, so let's see. I wonder if that foam could be cut into the shape of the design with a plotter. I suppose. Or a, I mean, honestly, I think you can use a scissor. If you're going to, I mean, if you're yeah. going to be placing it in the same place, you know, the design's going to be hitting the same spot every time. Yeah. Um, you know, you know, so product A, you have, um, you know, you have foam pillow A, and then yeah. for product B, you have foam yeah. pillow B, and you just yeah. use whatever uh, allows you to kind of press it with and not get those lines. I know Brian in the chat, oh, yeah. he has done a ton. I, I'm actually in a private chat on Facebook with him, yeah. and he does a lot of like, he does doormats, and I so he'll that. do like the, he'll do uh, a polyester doormat he'll actually print two prints and then line them up wow press half of it and then press the other half wow and i mean he gets a really nice i've seen i've seen his work it's really cool um uh, brian can probably speak to the uh the the poly kitchen towels because i know he supplements those he said no tape on poly kitchen towels yeah he does that a lot too so um, a lot of guys a lot of uh you know knowledge in this chat right now keep it coming (laughs) this is awesome to know I'm gonna because this is live and I had too much to drink. I'm gonna use the restroom real quick, Travis. I'm gonna let you fly this ship solo. <laughs> I'm gonna pull an audible. All right, I'll be right back. All right, well, uh, don't don't blame me if we crash. Uh, all right, so um, I'm I'm flying solo here. Does, does anybody else have any questions or what can we talk about? I know Chris asked what sells best on different platforms. I don't know if anybody else has. Um, you know, kind of an opinion on that. You could throw in the chat. We could, you know, kind of debate that, I guess, a little bit. Um, I know that, uh, I know, let's see if anybody else said anything up at the top that I missed. Let's see. Oh, yeah. AJ says, learning tumblers was an mf and I don't think he means merchant fulfiller. M- merchant fulfilled-er. Um, yeah, so, oh, I know Mike asked, um, or he mentioned something about, no, I missed it. Oh, yeah. What do you see? There it is. What do you guys think we'll see new equipment wise at ISS 2022? He's 
asking maybe uh, DTF, um, which is direct to film. We've talked about that in you know several past episodes. I don't think we're going to see DTF quite yet. I think that may be another year out. I'm unsure, um, and I need I need a, another one of those too, Josiah. Yes. Uh, so <laughs> um, I don't think we're going to see DTF quite yet uh, in at ISS Long Beach. But I don't know. There, he, he Mike was asking what new equipment do you think we'll see? I think mm. we're definitely going to continue to see DTG. Smaller, yeah. cheaper, yep. faster. Um, I mean, it might be more expensive for faster, but it's sure. going to continue to, on, on the whole, it's going to be faster, it's going to be cheaper for inks, yep. um, and that's just going to happen. Yeah. I mean, I think Absolutely. that's one thing that we're going to continue to see. Maybe not a brand new machine, but maybe a tweak. I know G- Brother GTX, they had their Brother GTX, then they had the Brother GTX Pro. Yeah. I know you know, Am- uh, Epson had the F2000, then they brought up the F2100. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't know if we're going to see an F2200 anytime soon. Uh, but yeah, stuff like that. I feel like that would make sense just because the, the 3070 is such a far, it's a leap. drastic yeah. leap price-wise. Mm-hmm. That it would make sense to me that they have something that's more in line with an F22 or that same price point without alienating those customers that want to keep using Epson, but they yeah. want something new in the F2100 price range that, yeah. that could work. So, And also, I see Mike put podcast professionals probably referring to the fact that I had to go to the bathroom. Probably. I do apologize. <laughs> Well, it was either I was I'm not wearing my darks, okay, so I can't just let it go <laughs> like a broadcasting professional. Um, so it was either that or it was going to get really awkward, even more awkward on the live. So um, Brian wants. I don't know if you answered this already. Uh, have you pushed the laser outside of hats? We have done some stuff. As a matter of fact, uh, we um, I mentioned that I went camping. Um, a couple weeks ago, and while I was gone, my son, who's my production manager, was testing some things. One of the things he was testing was this twill, and you can, you can. He used the laser to cut it out. You can actually cut it out on a plotter, on a vinyl cutter, if you will, okay. a plotter. Um, and the idea is that you cut out this um, this twill, mm-hmm. and then you can have like a um, you can have like a sheet underneath it, so where you can. Remove like if I cut words out or something, sure. you can remove that or numbers. Let's just say we're doing it, it's perfect for like jerseys. Sure. So you do like a jersey or you know all these word all these numbers, and then you take that and you have that you put that on your um, embroidery mm-hmm. machine with on top of your uh, or you put your shirt on there and then you do an outline. Uh, stitch sure. of the, and then you put those two numbers, yeah. let's see, eighteen or whatever, and then you press go again. But this time you do um, a, a stitch that goes back and forth all the way yeah. around it, and yeah. so you have like if you've ever seen the back of a jersey, and it's like, yeah. you know, it has so it's like it's it has it has like a twill middle mm-hmm. and then a stitched outside. Um, it looks really sharp. So yeah, that's awesome. I mean, that's a a lot. A long ex- explanation to what you're sure. talking about. I mean, we've done some tumblers, of course. Um, we've done some mug, uh, some laserable mugs, things like that. But um, that's kind of the newest thing we've been do do trying with of that twill of that um, those the polar camel, like the water bottle, the polar yeah. camel line. Yeah, yeah, we just got an order for um, like nine or ten pieces. Okay, uh, we're pitching to a company that does like. You know, they buy thousands of dollars worth of merch, just, you know, hats sure. and, sure. and you know, stuff like that, mugs and crap like that mm-hmm. to give out to people. So we're pitching that. Um, we're trying to get that middle room. So my my shop is, the front room is like uh, sublimation. The middle room is what I call the money room because it's, <laughs> it's UV and laser. Yeah. And then the back is DTG. And then there's this little side room that's embroidery. And that's kind right. of the ugly, ugly stepchild that we all <laughs> love to hate and, and, and makes us drink. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, no, seriously. Uh, embroidery is, is yeah. really, really tough. If you're, if you're on here and you're, you embroider and you're, it's an art man. So I just yeah. have to commend you. Um, one thing that I will say is, is we're kind of just having a conversation here is there's a platform that Madeline found recently called Abound. Have you heard of Abound? Uh-uh, I have not. So Abound is a platform where you can sell and buyers come to neon signs. Neon signs, yeah. We yes. do like acrylic 
and then it lights up and you know in the different neon you LED can do colors neon signs. Yeah. Well, not neon. We don't actually have neon gas in our facility. <laughs> But no, we so we do like we'll do an acrylic, and then we have a base that sure. has LED lights and yeah. makes it look neat. Like so a, like so we could have put a recording with an actual. I'm gonna need one of those. Okay, yes, yeah. you are. Yeah, always. I'm, I I need that in my life. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt uh, you. No, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Actually, Mike interrupted you. Yeah, well, that's not anything different. <laughs> he is that uncle at Thanksgiving that mm. just keeps butting in with his stories. Mm. Uh, <laughs> um, so about we love Mike. Abound, yeah, we'll see you in like ten minutes. Uh, <laughs> Abound is a uh, a, pl- a, a platform where you sell, where people come and order, with the goal being that if they like it, they actually order in bulk for their brick and mortar store. Oh wow! So it's huh. like a it's like a proof of concept for them. So uh, Madeline got on that platform and she sold a handful of things so far. And so the the idea is when the customer gets it, if they like the pillow, if they like the sign, if they like the whatever, Hmm. they'll contact her again and say, hey, I need 30 of this and 40 of that. So it's a really good place. Look into it. Um, She recently just got on there. But it seems like a really cool way to get some awesome volume from people. If they like the product, if it's, you know, what they're looking for, Mm -hmm. it could be not only a good bulk order, but it could be a recurring Recurring order. order, Yeah. Yeah. Something that happens over and over. Restock. Um, their their inventory. So yeah, I, I think that I thought that was fascinating because I'd yeah. never heard of it before. A bound, a bound, a b o u n d. Okay. So um, and Madeline, if you're watching this, if you're upstairs in our apartment, uh, watching me talk, <laughs> you can uh, leave a link. Let people know where to find it because it's awesome. Oh no, she, she's right out there. She's actually <laughs> in the backyard letting the dogs out. So never mind. <laughs> uh, we'll try and get more information on that. Maybe it can be another point of interest. We're going to dive a little deeper yeah, that'd be as cool. it is a new platform that you guys could take advantage of. So, um, yeah, I think that's a great opportunity. Yeah. Mike sends a kissy face in the chat. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. <laughs> Listen, if you're watching on the replay, you're not here live. Thank you so much. Please still leave a comment, leave a question. Uh, we will get back to them. We will see them and answer them in a later yeah. episode. Um, this is, like we said, beta testing the facebook live idea we hope to evolve this i think it'd be fun to do it once a month and kind of get some more interaction but also kind of perfect perfect the format and uh the technology and i'll be sure to dehydrate fully (laughs) before i come and can on camera he means go Uh, to the bathroom yes that's an inside (laughs) joke what we we were traveling we'd be in vegas and we had to go to the bathroom one of us would say to the other dehydrate and we knew exactly where that person was going and to order them another beer because the rest of the time we're hydrating (laughs) exactly so the minute he goes to dehydrate i order him another beer so that there's no there's no gap see it's why it's very dry in las vegas it is it's a desert it is uh so uh, yeah but if you're watching on the replay thanks guys so much for doing that and again let us know your questions your comments if you're enjoying this if you find it to be entertaining and informational hopefully both i would be super super great travis anything else you can think of before we kind of put a bow on this live as we have to go cheer for the colorado avalanche to hopefully clinch game Mm. five we will let you know in this next episode uh, after this we're testing a theory here Uh, we go to a sports bar that's literally like 10 minutes Mm -hmm. away from my house and we watch the avalanche games and every game we've watched there they have won we didn't watch the last one there. We didn't watch the last two there. The last two there, and they got destroyed. Yeah. So we're putting a theory to the test here. Is this going to make the difference? I don't know, uh, but we hope so. Yeah. So say a prayer for the avalanche with us as we will be interceding on their behalf while we eat fried foods and drink beer. <laughs> It'll be a good time. So, um, guys, thank you. No, anything else? I, I didn't give you the floor there. No, I, the I, I just I wanted to say thank you to all those who actually did join us. Um, sure. We had you know six, seven people in here at a time, and a lot of people were actually commenting. So that was that was a lot of fun. Kind yeah, of no, it was bantering back and forth with each yep. other, but then also yep. having you know some other people and kind some of good information. Yeah, good information. Tips along, in, yeah, in the, the chat, around. which is why we want wanted to start the Facebook group. Yeah. If we've said a thousand times to get conversation going between one another, not just us to you guys as well. So, and in the future, hopefully when we do lives, we can have some guests on with us and, and then make it kind of a different feel, different format, but definitely just as informational and just as entertaining. Yep. Um, but until then guys, thank you so much. If you're listening on the audio version, because this audio will be basically directly uh, put into the podcast feed. If you're listening to the audio version and you're wondering uh, what the hell's going on <laughs> and what we look like, uh, you can, again, fa- uh, print on demandcast.com slash 
slash Facebook, join the group, and you'll be informed of when we go live next, and you can be a part of this and ask your questions uh, live here on the show. So thank you guys so much. Again, rate and uh, subscribe on iTunes or on Spotify, Google, Stitcher. We're, we're everywhere. Wherever there's podcasts, the POD cast is there for you. Uh, so again, thank you guys so much. And we'll see you next week right here on the print on demand cast. See ya. That was faster. Was you it? Didn't, you didn't leave enough. Well, 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 it's the, it's the delay. See, there's no delay here. So try it again. Try it again. Okay, so, see you okay, next okay, week. Okay, okay, we'll go back okay, to okay, the, okay, okay. And I'll give it a little, I'll uh-huh. give it a little delay. We'll see ya next week right here on the print on demand cast. See ya. Ah, it was better. Did you like my little yeah, lean in? That okay. was better. See you guys. Thanks for listening to this week's episode of the Print on Demand cast. We hope you enjoyed the show. If you've got a question or a suggestion for the show, send Travis and Josiah an email at info at printondemandcast.com. Take a minute to rate and review the show on iTunes or wherever you get your podcast. And don't forget to subscribe now so you don't miss next week's episode. See you next week. Are we live over there? Are we there? Are we there? I don't know. You tell me. I forgot to put the recordings out on the door. Sorry. Sorry, coming in. Yeah, we are. Oh, yeah, we are. We are live. actually live. We're live, live. Well, hi, There's hi. no. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> hey, just getting some water in here. Just getting some. It's uh, my mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs>